we wanted to create a some sort of a place where art is not treated so seriously. You know, it's not like an exclusive area for chosen people, but everyone can go in and do something and interact. It was a natural step from a studio, a small little studio area into um, uh, having an extra exhibition area as well. We're trying to be independent gallery. It, mean, it means we don't really take any support from Arts Council or City Council. As long as it will be possible, we, we try to keep the place uh, independent. It's a central location, which is very, very important in this type of uh, business. I think I'm kind of decision-making person here, and, and I'm trying to also make it work financially. That art is happy, that everyone's happy. That's really my job, yeah. making everyone happy, including myself. Uh, I'm an art curator here. I'm responsible for uh, promoting and organizing shows uh, here at the gallery. I'm also responsible for selecting works uh, for shows. There is no professional background. I didn't finish Academy of Fine Arts. I didn't do any you know, specific art college. I just done a lot of courses um, during my life, painting, drawing. Uh, many different courses and basically I paint since I was five. The difference between us and other galleries is that we also support, um, I would say, amateur artists. Uh, we have galleries um, space for um, professional uh, mature artists, but we have also selection of courses for um, beginners and for artists who are not ready yet to uh, exhibit. I think it's about um, promoting arts, <clears throat> promoting artists as well, not only through exhibiting them, but also um, various activities, consulting even, you know, people come over and, and they, they have questions and they're looking for answers, so we try to help them. It's art um, created from expression, from craziness, you know, from letting go and... Yeah, brave. Brave. And mad. And mad. <laughs> <laughs>